Massive piles of trash have finally been picked up at a South Jersey apartment complex. Now officials are taking action against the corporate landlord. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is in Camden with reaction from residents. Cleve? I was discussed now here. To say residents in Crestbury Apartments in Camden feel trashed is an understatement. Dumpsters, which were supposed to be emptied every other day, were left stagnant for a week and a half creating sprawling, pest-infested mounds of garbage. Rats, raccoons, possums. Um, we have baby foxes out here that comes and digging our trash and everything, like, it's not even safe. Finally, some relief Tuesday morning as waste management sent a small fleet of trash trucks and tractors to haul the filth away. Thank the Lord. We need this. There are two different versions of why the backup happened. According to Camden Mayor Frank Moran, Cressbury's management wasn't paying their trash bill. It was upwards to $30,000 that they owed waste management and waste management um, stopped collecting the trash. Cressbury's property management company, Wynn Residential, has a different story. We had a payment snafu that happened. I like to say that word. Wynn says waste management didn't get paid due to changing trash collection providers. Waste management won't comment on the account, but it's clear their dumpsters were in place before the backup began, and they say they came out of respect for residents. Mayor Moran and health inspectors toured some of the 392 apartments here after receiving complaints of mold and other maintenance problems. They issued seven violations for substandard conditions. We did our own digging and found out the complex is owned by a New York investment firm, Lincoln Avenue Capital. Managing partners, the Bronfman family are the billionaire heirs to the Seagram's liquor empire. They bought the government subsidized housing complex under a tax break program that allows them to pay a fee in lieu of property taxes until the year 2031. Management says so far they've invested less than $500,000 on improvements to the aging complex. It is totally unacceptable for our folks in the city living in a complex of such that is under the conditions. And today, Camden County Freeholder Director Lewis Capelli issued a scathing statement to the owners of Crestbury, which said in part, we will ensure that the residents are put first and that these New York City slumlords are held to the highest standards. Standards. In short, we will not tolerate this type of outlandish behavior by Wall Street billionaires, and we will hold their feet to the fire to improve the quality of life for our residents. And we reached out to Lincoln this afternoon. I was able to contact somebody at their reception. They said that they may call me back. They have not. Reporting live in Camden, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Cleve, keep us updated. Thank you.